equipment has a twenty five pound kettlebell. Give it three, you know, give it fifteen pounds or thirty, thirty five, forty, whatever you decide to do with it. Whatever you do, has a twenty five pound that the house is going to do right now. So we have two separate groups for this. They're going to be two rounds a piece. Okay, so our first group we have squat contraction, squat pull. Right, so that's just you going down but not changing all the way up. Right, so it's not a rest pause. It's a contraction so the muscle doesn't get a break. You burn out quickly with that one. So we have that twenty five reps. Kettlebell swing, right? Twenty five pounder hinge, pop up. Right. The big thing here is it's not a squat. Okay. If you're unfamiliar with that, you can just do a kettlebell squat for right now. Okay, or a goblet squat. So like holding it up here like this and just squatting it down. Okay. Kettlebell swing takes a lot more technique, and if you're not doing it right, you can do more damage, more harm than you want to. Big thing with that, like I said, hips are going back here. They sink. You're going to have to fast forward to do that group. That's not necessarily a squat. So that second, 25 reps on that right there. Third, frog squat. Now these ones are a little weird. Um, a lot of my clients make fun of these all the time. What I'm going to do is feet are out. Take the outside part of my arm, put it on the inside part of my leg. And then I'm actually going to, from here, I'm going to bend down. I'm going to bring my leg back down and up. Kind of looks like a stripper move, but it's a joke, right? From here, down, up, down, up. My arms do not move. They're not bobbing up and down. So they're making it so that my knees don't buckle. So I'm going to feel a hamstring stretch when I push up, come back down, but the thing all the time that's going to burn out is actually the squat. So that's the third thing. Got 25 on that. After that, lunges. You can do these anyway. I can, I can either do them traveling or I can do them stationary. With stationary, I can do them forwards or backwards. For this video, I'm actually going to do back stretches. I'm going to do 12 per leg, so 24 total. So I'll do one leg at a time for this. I'll stretch back, and then I'll come up, right? Just like that. The big thing is make sure the heel always has pressure on it. I'm not putting my knee over the toe, and I'm not putting all this pressure on my toes to make my heel stretch up, okay? So make sure you stay up. You don't bow forward over that uh, leg. And then last, we're going to do Romanian deadlifts. Two different ways I can do this. I have the weights. What I can do with the weights, you can pull this back, you can pull this apart, I can bow forward, right? Stretch the hamstrings out a little bit, right? And then pull up to use my glutes. If I didn't want to mess with the weights, I could actually do prisoner grip only. Hands out behind your head. Keep going up forward, keep going up, bow forward, and then let's pull through. So that's the first group, two times through. So 25 reps on everything minus the lunges, which was 12 total. So we have that for the first group. After I run through that two, to two times, then I'm actually going to move on to the next group. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hand foot crawl. Okay, so I'm going to do that in this room, down on all fours, right, back and forth, contralateral pattern, go forwards and backwards. For that one, I'm going to go forwards and backwards in this room five times. After that, I'm going to do full sit-ups. I'm going to be on my back. Lying flat, I'll throw my arms down, sit up. I don't need to sit all the way up because that's a rest period. I'll come to about here and then go back down. It's a little bit shy of 90 for that. It's a 90 degree angle when I come up. That one I have 15 reps. After that, I'm going to do a hip up so I can just stay in the same position. Feet apart, hands flat. Come up, use my glutes, come back down. I'm going to do 25 of those. And then I'm going to finish with one leg Romanian deadlift. Now you can do this with the weights, okay? And some people do a same leg, so they do a same leg and they do the same like this. I don't like it. I like more of a contralateral pattern, so I do opposite, right? Opposite leg. Cross body tension, so it creates more of a demand for my core. But I don't need the weights. I mean, if I'm struggling, I can do these thousands and set up a pull up like this, okay? It's totally up to you. And you can use it for balance. This is carpet, so it's not a rough surface, so there's no huge demand for my ankle to be strong, but it still is demanding that my ankle is strong because I don't have my shoes on, okay, and I'm not wearing any platform shoes or anything like that, so I'm still going to get some stability work with my ankle, and for the hamstring, lower back, for that one, I'm going to do 10 per side, that whole thing, I'm going to do two times through on that one, okay, so I'm actually going to do a sped up version of all this, and then I'll cover everything again at the end.
Cut everything down, take about 20 minutes. It's looking pretty bad right now. Um, I just want to clarify some things kind of too at the end. I know I've gone through it, but if you end up going through it again, um, hand foot crawl in here. I did about eight strides down the back for the one leg Romanian deadlift at the end. So this is on the second group. I opted to not do weights. I went ahead and just worked on the stability of the movement. So what I'm actually doing when I go down and then when I come back up, I'm trying not to tap that foot down. Okay? So it's the eight reps without ever touching that opposite leg down. So you want to make that back as flat as you can get it. Um, for the Romanian deadlift on the first group, the stretch, I'm going to actually just touch the kettlebell to the ground. I could have actually stood up on the fireplace here if I wanted a little bit more stretch, but my hamstrings are already tight anyways, so that worked out. I was almost just like tuck it to the ground and then come all the way back up. Um, everything else, I mean, was good. The other thing I want to say is that I actually made sure that when I was transitioning or if I was getting up off the ground, I wasn't using my hands. And this is where that move nap modality comes into play. And we use some of the movements like with the hand foot crawl and that. But I want to make sure that I'm not using my hands to get up. Okay? Especially when I'm tired. I want to make sure that I emphasize that. So there's a handful of different ways that you can do that. I'll have some videos showing some of those things also. But for right now, if you don't know, just try any way that you can to just get up off the ground without using your hands. So that was the workout, guys. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a good recap of questions. So if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please do that below. I'm definitely going to keep making these videos because it keeps me accountable too, not just to myself, but to you guys as well. So I want to thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll have a couple videos uh, coming up here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.